Dumb Sparrow, Sparrow, God work while I breathe. I hope Dumb Sparrow, Sparrow, God work. You can listen to a more lively version of this audio essay at dumbspirrowsparrow.world. New Year's Space Clearing, Inside and Out A new year has just rolled in, like a movie star stepping out of a limo, all glitzed up to the nines and walking the red carpet. Yep, the new year can seem as equally glamorous, can't it? With the allure of boundless possibilities and hopeful self-promises, not hopeless and unrealistic, but achievable which may even include a new you. Yes, the new year, and Happy New Year by the way, is a fertile time for ringing out the old and bringing in the new. Sometimes though, when we want to make a change, or perhaps even several transformative differences, it's important to take practical and emotional action by doing some New Year's space clearing on the outside and the inside too. So, if over the past 12 months your living space has started to become cluttered and full of unnecessary stuff, then now, yes right now, is as good a time as any to sort through extraneous belongings, things that seemed like a good idea at the time of purchase but subsequently haven't seen the light of day and are being stored in boxes, in drawers, or under the bed, or at the bottom of the wardrobe, etc., etc. Feng Shui and other esoteric systems, as well as plain old common sense, has it that our outside, external living environments are often a reflection of our inner world. Or, to put it another way, what can be seen in someone's living space almost certainly clearly correlates with what's going on in that said someone's mind, and vice versa. This is obviously true. For instance, at a basic level, if a person is interested in angels or the tarot, then they are likely to have ornaments of angels, tarot card decks, and books about angels or tarot. So certain objects and items in their living environment reflects this person's interests or what's going on on the inside. The thing is that we can sometimes get bogged down with so many material possessions that we can't even see the wood for the trees anymore. We can't distinguish between necessity, sentimentality, luxury and sheer wanton waste. And so, it's as if our immediate living environment starts to run us. We have so much stuff that our psyche correspondingly becomes murky, stuck and cluttered. And so instead, our minds start to be governed by what's going on on the outside. New Year's in the collective conscious is synonymous as being a time of raw freshness and revitalization. So we may as well ride this mass wave and let the undercurrents carry us forward throughout this new New Year's overhaul of the self and this time do our best to do away with the silly, irrelevant junk that has accumulated in our home for the past year and perhaps even longer. So whip out those black bin liners and start filling them up with the stuff that charity shops and thrift stores thrive upon. So what about the inside? Surely a New Year space clearing session is even more important internally than externally. Well, yes it is, but this will take a bit more than a few hours of your time and some smudge sticks, bells and hand clapping in room corners to shift stale and stagnant energy. Sarcasm not intended, so please don't be offended. The space clearing on the inside will be a work in progress, 
but here's how to gently start the process of emotional, mental and spiritual sorting out and throwing away. It's much easier for you to gain some clarity about the sensitive issues which may be troubling you if you write down exactly what they are. Alternatively, you can make a note of these said issues digitally, but there's definitely something more therapeutic and grounding when you use a pencil or pen and a piece of paper, or even better still, a diary or journal to write down your deepest, darkest problems and fears, etc. Furthermore, when you carry out the process of self-scrutiny by taking time to physically put pen to paper, you are already starting to gently unravel your problems. Once you have your list of emotional things that need to be metaphorically sifted through and thrown away, look carefully through it and see which problem will be the easiest to solve or get rid of. For instance, losing or gaining or even accepting your body weight issues may be easier to deal with and rectify than, say, forgiving a friend or loved one who may have said some deeply hurtful things to you, or adjusting your mindset and unearthing any bitter root expectations you have when it comes to intimacy and romantic relationships. It's highly advisable to start, first of all, with any easier problems you wish to resolve, as each new achievement of overcoming and solving of a persistent issue or emotional dispute will leave you feeling lighter in the knowledge that no problem, no matter how dire, is beyond the bounds of a sensible and heartfelt solution. All quandaries are surmountable. Any issues which are more deep-rooted and seem to you to always be knocking on your heart's door to be let out, but for whatever reason you can't find the key, will obviously need much more careful probing, and if this is the case, it is highly recommended that you invest in some self-help books or go to your local library and borrow a self-help book. One book at a time is better than lots. In the new age of the internet, try your best to overcome a short attention span and distractions. If you aren't big on reading or much prefer to talk with someone listening instead of phoning up a friend, which of course is a way to offload our inner conflicts, it may be far better to seek professional counselling. This way, there's a clear line between yourself and the professional you talk to, and the counsellor won't tire of your questions and problems, and will be able to very carefully help you work your way through your difficulties and worries until your mind and heart is emotionally clutter-free. Remember that New Year's space clearing isn't just about doing away with the stuff of yesteryear, that no longer serves who you are today and going forward into your powerful future. The new year is also a time to make new space for plans and set realistic goals. So get that journal or diary out once again and with pen or pencil in hand, jot down those things that will put a big smile on your face once achieved throughout this new year and beyond. So happy New Year's space clearing to you. Quote by Sarah Ban Brethnock New Year's Day, a fresh start, a new chapter in life waiting to be written, new questions to be asked, embraced and loved, answers to be discovered and then lived in this transformative year of delight and self-discovery. Today, carve out a quiet interlude for yourself in which to dream, pen in hand, only dreams give birth to change. <laughs>